Okay, so it's the end of the game, and I've been playing for eight and a half years. It's now July 1st of 1944, and this is the end. So let's take a look at the faction map. We have the Reichspact, led by the German Empire, the Entente, led by Canada, the Dano Adria Bund, led by Austria-Hungary, and my own faction that I created, albeit with console commands, the Nordisk Allianz, led by the Kingdom of Sweden, which has the other Nordic nations as allies and puppet states. So yeah, it's just an alliance of the Nordic nations. And I've done pretty good in regards to territorial expansion as well. What, uh, what with Finland getting all this land? Um, and me puppeting the other nations. We also have, in regards to factions, the Buenos Aires-Lima Axis, led by Argentina. We still have the Co-Prosperity Sphere, led by the Empire of Japan, which is still at war with the Sino-Coalition of the Qing Empire of China and the National Protection Alliance. And yeah. And let's not also forget that, as Sweden, I have this colony right here of southern Thailand and northern Malaya. In regards to other major powers, there's the Ottoman Empire, which has puppets in Arabia and Yemen. There's Soviet Russia, which had just lost a war against both the Reichspact and the Nordisk Allianz. And they used to have Mongolia as a puppet state. Now they don't, but they still have Iran under a totalist government as a puppet state. Now what other major powers are there? There is also Brazil, which just lost a war against the Buenos Aires-Lima Axis. And then there's the American Union State, which won the Second American Civil War and also has Mexico as a puppet state. And also there's the Australasian Union, which is now the Australian Union, because New Zealand left after the Australian Union was formed as a populist nation. And New Zealand is still at war with Australia, and it's under a military dictatorship. And they left because Australia became syndicalist. So yeah. And Japan is still at war with the Sino Coalition, but they're also at war with the Philippines. And India has been unified under the Dominion of India. Abyssinia, or Ethiopia, has Somalia as a puppet state. Central America exists. The Dominican Republic has Haiti as a puppet state. And the Entente is at war with the West Indies Union a syndicalist nation in the Caribbean that was once the West Indies Federation. Colombia is radical socialist, but the other um, countries around it, like Ecuador and Venezuela, are democratic. Same with Panama and Costa Rica. And Argentina is authoritarian democratic. Peru is democratic. Bolivia is a dictatorship, but Paraguay and Chile are national populists. Let's look at the faction. In the Americas, the only country that's a part of the Reichs Pact is Cuba. In Europe, the Reichs Pact uh, has control over much of Eastern Europe, as well as the Low Countries and Northern France and Switzerland, as well as Germany itself, and Bulgaria in the Balkans. The Entente um, includes Southern France, Spain and Portugal, and Great Britain, whereas the Dano Adria Bund spans over much of Central Europe, as well as um, Southeastern Europe, the Balkans, as well as Italy. The only country in the Balkans they don't have influence over is Bulgaria, which is a member of the Reichs Pact. And, um, they're a pretty big faction. And the Nordics Allianz has control over the Nordic nations in Northern Europe. And another nation that's a part of the Reichs Pact is Georgia. And 
the Kingdom of Burma, which also has Thailand as a puppet state. And Liberia is a national populist dictatorship. So, yeah. That's basically this whole world in a nutshell. And, uh, oh yeah, uh, there's a few things I forgot to mention. I think I pretty much mentioned everything. That is all. Okay, Sweden has score 18, 46. Leader Gustav V, ideology Social Democrats, government Social Democrat, ruling party SAP. And the most powerful faction in the world is the Sino Coalition, followed by the Entente, the Pro Prosperity Sphere, the Reichs Pact, the Donald Adria Bund, the Buenos Aires Lima Axis. And where's my own? It didn't even make, I guess, the cut of the page, but whatever. So the most powerful factions in the world are the Sino Coalition, the Entente, the Co Prosperity Sphere, the Reichs Pact, the Dano Adjurbund, and the Buenos Aires Lima Axis. And I have scored, and I have a score of 18, which uh, leads me to 46 in regards to my score, which isn't too bad. So I'd say I did pretty good. Well, that's all.